In this evening's KX conversation, we're talking a little bit about the weather because we're starting to see some nicer days and soon expecting some more pleasant temperatures, which does mean a lot of families are going to be planning a trip out west and that does mean there's plenty to do out near Medora if you've never been and one of those is some fun that you can have on horseback. Joining us to talk about that now is Tracy Martin, the founder of what's called Cowgirl Camp. Hello Tracy. Hello. So Tracy, can you just tell us a little bit about Cowgirl Camp, how people can get signed up, where it's taking place and just the general aspect of what it is? I'd love to and first of all, um, I don't consider myself the founder. It's kind of a collaboration among some friends. Um, started out with a conversation uh, with Laurel Nelson, who is a current board member at the Theodore Roosevelt Medora Foundation, and myself in regards to the Western Heritage um, Initiative. And uh, basically stemmed from that conversation to look at doing some other programming and opportunities to uh, bring some Western Heritage to um, some things for youth to do. So um, this is, and talking about Western North Dakota, it's one of the prettiest places in the state to ride. I guess, uh, you know, for anyone who's just hearing about this for the first time, how long have you been trying to put this into motion, so to speak, when talking about Cowgirl Camp? Actually, that initial conversation occurred in January. Um, Laurel and I started talking about it, and we started talking about what kind of programming could we do this summer um, for kids. And uh, that stemmed into some experiences that I had had at the 4-H horse camp in Washburn, North Dakota. And we started thinking about Medora, the Badlands, the traditions, the values, and what a better place for a backdrop to offer an opportunity to youth to experience some things that they otherwise wouldn't get a chance to. So what will be some things that they will get to experience while at the camp? Um, you know, I assume there's going to be some horseback riding. What, what are some other things that uh, girls will get to learn at the camp? Well, this camp is basically targeted to um, girls that don't get an opportunity to do anything like this. And so it's going to be some basic care of a horse. They're going to get assigned a horse for their own of that week, they'll learn how to groom them, how to feed them, how to basically take care of them, learn how to saddle, bridle, do some groundwork with them, and of course, do the fun stuff, riding. But again, because it's occurring in Medora, they are also going to get to go to the musical, they're going to get a backstage tour, of the musical, um, pitchfork fondue, and of course, it'll all, be capped with a nice sing-along campfire at the end. It sounds like a great time, that's for sure. <laughs> I think, I wish I was a kid and experiencing it, it's gonna be a blast. Yes. You start you start putting the word out like that, you're gonna have a lot of eager uh, young minds talking about this, Tracy. So uh, do you know, first off, uh, when it's gonna be and how do they find you? Yes, um, the camp is this year going to be June 10th through the 13th. Registration was through Medora.com, through the Theodore Roosevelt Medora Foundation site. Um, and we have capped it at 15 girls. Uh, we launched that site for registration last week and it was filled within two days. Wow. So we are already full this year and we're hoping that we can give them a wonderful experience and make this an annual um, program each and every year with hopefully multiple camps each and every year. Our guest once again is Tracy Martin uh, talking about uh, Cowgirl Camp, one of the fun activities among many you can find out in Medora out west this coming summer. Tracy, once again, thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you. Come and visit us and see a bunch of happy little cowgirls.